Well, the important thing is really the interpretation of those regulations. The regulations themselves are pretty standard. It's how they're interpreted and implemented that affect uh, purchasing from SMEs. And I do think that they constrain uh, the, the interpretation of these rules, uh, very often constrain business uh, with uh, small and medium-sized enterprises. Well, of course there is. Um, I think that in, when we look at regions in continental Europe, then uh, they purchase far more from SMEs uh, than we do here in Wales. Therefore, it can be done within the European rules. Oh yes, there are a number of, of examples. Um, uh, Source Wales would be a very good one. Uh, this is a programme uh, which uh, enables both private and public sector organisations to find well suppliers. This is absolutely uh, pertinent to the question you ask. I think the board of the WDA will be totally against it. Uh, it doesn't work for the benefit of SMEs. And in Wales, our growth comes from the, for SMEs. And these are the people we should support. I think the health sector and value for money is a very difficult case. Um, I doubt if they actually achieve value for money uh, because they measure cost and if you only measure cost then you don't measure value and uh, so therefore I think the health service is a separate case. I think there are many good examples in the local government sector where they are achieving value for money but at the same time helping the local economy and I think this is to be applauded. I think there may be one or two uh, on the radar, but it's not, it doesn't happen very often. I don't think the, the cost of doing this, I mean, the whole point of e-commerce e is it reduces cost, it doesn't add uh, to cost. So therefore this is a way that theoretically SMEs could actually compete more effectively. But at the end of the day, does the public sector want to deal with them? And uh, uh, no matter how, how, how we reduce our cost base, won't matter unless the, unless the will is there to do it. No, I don't think it would at all. I think the cost of public procurement would not be increased uh, by... Uh, um, engagement with SMEs or, or changing the pattern. Uh, the element of cost would be probably less than 5% and the benefits in terms of the multiplier from profits accruing to those companies would be sixfold. So therefore we're probably looking at a 100% increase in uh, economic activity uh, for a cost of 5%. It's a no-brainer.